Fun fact, this video is written way before Alpine Mountain got removed from CTGP. I started writing this in October of 2018, but stopped working on it for a while because I didn't think it was that important, and quite honestly it's not. I picked it back up sometime in 2019 and finished writing the script, but stopped working on it again because I didn't have enough equipment to make the video. I didn't have a capture card to record footage, I didn't have an editing software to use, I didn't have a good microphone. You get the point. Only recently did I pick it back up again and actually finish the whole thing. It was also delayed because it was removed from CTGP before I could finish, and I was having some issues with Lean's SCS tools because I'm an idiot who can't read, so uh, that took up some time as well. Also, to the 12 people subscribed to me right now, why are you subscribed? What? I'm terrible. Uh, unsub, right now. Go- <laughs> Stop. Go, go away. Uh, thanks for listening. Now here's me whining about a custom track nobody cares about and hasn't been in CTGP for over a year. Alpine Mountain used to be one of the worst tracks in CGGP. I mean, just look at it. It's like it never got updated since its release in 2012. Technically it did, but all they did was remove a shortcut. That's it. Wow. Now, look at this. Doesn't this remind you of a certain track from a certain Mario Kart game on the 3DS? I don't know about you, but this looks exactly like the beginning of Rock Rock Mountain from Mario Kart 7. How original. Well, it might be a coincidence, I don't know. The beginning of Sunset Ridge also looks like this. Uh, maybe both tracks ripped off Rock Rock Mountain, who knows? Look at how steep these walls are. Every single side of the mountain is at a 90 degree angle. What kind of mountain is this? Not only that, but look at how flat everything is. It's like everything's made out of paper. Would it have been too much effort to make this look as if this were an actual mountain? Just slant the walls a little bit, it can't be that hard. When you go inside the cave, there's a giant name carved out of the wall reading, Michelle. Who in the world is Michelle? At the end of the name, there's a heart. Wonder what the heart's for. Not gonna lie, if I saw my name with a heart next to it in a custom track, I'd be a little creeped out. If I were Michelle, I would try to avoid the creators for the rest of my life. I'm joking, obviously, but why in the world is the name Michelle just carved out of the wall? Why are there bats in the cave? It's very clearly broad daylight outside, and most bats are nocturnal, so what's up with these? Should they be in darker environments? Ah, eh, whatever, they're just bats. Anyway, once you get out of the cave, you go on a ramp and land on this path. There's this giant wiggler that gets in your way. I get that it's supposed to be in your way, but this is a little dumb. Maple Treeway also had wigglers placed to get in the racer's way, but the thing is, in Maple Treeway, the wigglers were placed in an area with plenty of room in it and you could easily avoid them without having to slow down. Here, it's just a path with way less space than that area in Maple Treeway, so when the wiggler stops or walks across the path, it takes up almost the entire width of the path, forcing you to swerve out of your way so you don't hit it, go on the off-road, or stop dead in your tracks to wait for the wiggler to move. Who would do that? Also, what's up with these trees? Why can I see through the little triangles at the bottom of the leaves? Isn't there a back of the tree too? Why can I see through it? <laughs> you can see the mountain through the tree! How could text tree be messed up this badly? Once you get past there, you go off a ramp and into a river. This turn sucks. I hate it. If you're playing this track for the first time, there's no way you'll know you have to turn immediately after going off the ramp. You can't see ahead. Unless you take a look at the minimap, which you shouldn't have to do, chances are you're gonna bump right into the wall in front of you. At least give us enough reaction time to avoid it. Also, just look at these walls. Notice anything different about them? How they're angled? You know, how the inside walls of a natural river might actually look like? If the walls inside here are angled and somewhat look like they would belong in nature, why are the walls in the rest of the course all perpendicular to the ground? I get there are actually steep mountains out there, but usually they aren't entirely perpendicular to the ground, you know? When you get out of there, there's another annoying section with a wiggler in it. This time, it has speed boost, so now you get the oh-so-joyful opportunity to ram into the wiggler at full speed. These seem like ordinary speed boosts, right? Well, take a look at what happens when I go over them while wheeling. What's this about? This doesn't happen when you wheelie over any other speed boost in the game, let alone this course. Why does it happen on these ones? Oh, what, they're, they're trickable now? Oh, what? After that, you go up a ramp with boulders going down towards you with a pattern of speed boosts on either side of the wall, then the center. Look familiar? Again, this is just ripping off Rock Rock Mountain from Mario Kart 7. Come to think of it, a lot of parts in this track seem to be copied from Rock Rock Mountain. Even the name, Alpine Mountain, is just a combination of Rock Rock Mountain and Alpine Pass, the name used in Europe and Australia. Might be a coincidence, but I doubt it. These tracks look a bit too similar to be a mere coincidence. You could say this track was inspired by Rock Rock Mountain, 
but inspiration isn't really the same thing as plagiarism to me. Nowhere on the Alpine Mountain page is Rock Rock Mountain even mentioned. Once you get past that, there's a ramp and then the lap's done. Woohoo. Yeah, this, this track is bad. While not the worst track out there, it certainly isn't anywhere near being good. It's annoying at best, boring at worst, and it just looks so... bland. It's boring, what else can I say? It isn't enjoyable to play at all. The custom Mario Kart wiki says this track was made in 7 months, and that's cool to the creators. Good custom tracks take a lot of time and effort to make. Well, they certainly got the time part down, not so much the effort, that doesn't really show. I'm willing to bet that of the 7 months it took to make this, only like a few weeks were spent on it at most. Overall, I'd rate this track a 3 out of 10. It could be worse, but it could be a whole lot better. Next time we play CGGP or Weems Mario Kart Fun or whatever other custom track distribution this may be a part of, please, give this one a pass. An Alpine pass, if you will. It's not worth your time. Yeah, that's it. Go away.